Hello, I'm Brian Coddington with Libsyn, and in this video I'm going to show you how to remove random noises caught in your podcast recordings using the spectral frequency display inside of Adobe Audition. <laughs> So what is spectral editing? Okay, so if we come in here and we jump over to our view and we choose show spectral frequency display, we're gonna get a very scary looking um, waveform here, okay? And this actually is a heat map. That's what's referred to as the heat map. Um, and this is your audio if it was displayed as color and based on intensity how intense that audio is. These areas of black, pretty much, that means that that we don't have anything, any noise being captured, right? And these areas of orange and red and purples, you know, really light purples, that's our, our actual voice, okay? Now, what can you do with the spectral edit? Okay, what this allows you to do, and I mentioned this in our uh, DAW uh, video, is that you can use this to take out sounds that maybe were captured during your recording maybe a, a a smoke alarm goes off in your house okay and maybe it's it's you know downstairs it's not necessarily up where you're recording but you can hear a little bit of that being caught right um in the spectral edit display uh what you can do is actually isolate that sound and take it out without actually destroying your waveform. So let's just pick a couple of these out. So right here is that seize it. Seize it. Okay. So that's, again, we can see right here, this little area. If we look across, we can see it is in that 10. It's probably, I'd say within that seven to 8.5 K range. That's where that S sound is. So the nice thing about this is that from here, I can draw a marquee. If I think it's a little too harsh, I can just notch this down a bit. And if we click away, you can see that it's now less intense. So that's one way of dealing with those, those kind of harsh S's that you can kind of use the spectral edit display for. Okay. Now I'm pretty sure that he didn't have any errant sounds in his recording. Oh yeah, we do. We have a little low, it looks like, sounds like a mic bump there. Okay. So this is a really cool thing. This is what I love about the spectral edit is that we can come down here. We can see that it's definitely on that low end. It's at that 200 hertz area. It's these little bits and bobs right here. And what I can use is the uh, spot healing brush. I love this tool. This is how awesome it is, okay? So I can take these little bits here that I know are you know sounds I don't want and I can draw on them. It processes it and boom, it's gone. So this right here, I purposefully, and I, I never do this, I purposefully made sounds <laughs> that will show up here. So if we play this through, you can hear that something's being crunched and it's showing up right here. So we can remove that and I'd probably be a bit more heavy handed, just use the marquee selection on there just because I know it's nothing and just take it and bring it down. And now it's gone. It's so easy to just grab these little bits that maybe, you know, normally we wouldn't notice or we might try to just cut out or silence in the waveform view, but we can do it all within the spectral edit display and we're not even touching any of our actual audible audio.